Hello, uh, today I'm joined by Sash here. Hello. He's kind of tired. It is 10 to 11. Sorry. I go to bed at a million o'clock. I know. Jeez. I'm not tired. What are you talking about, bro? <laughs> You're just lying back in here. Yeah. Lying You're in the seat. Fire and singer again. Fire song. <sighs> this is not copyright. Don't own us, even though we're dead. Alright, um, so oh, I'm gonna be showing you how to use GIMP. 2.8, which I'll, I'll be using some uh, uh, option um, special graphical things. settings. Yeah. I'll be using some things in very, very technical, very um, advanced word things. Ectoplasm. Uh, in um, a, which is exclusive of GIMP 2.8, which may not be in included in previous versions. Shut thing. up, I know that. <laughs> I've just tried to record millions of different games and it hasn't worked. Alright, back paused? to the subject. Is this paused? No, I'm not sure? checking because if I click on that, it will pause it. That's the problem. Oh, alright. Alright, so you will, uh, you'll need GIMP for this. GIMP. Uh, it doesn't really matter what uh, version. But Unless you it will, want the um, features that we are using today yeah. in this video that we are right. recording right so, now in this video, in this room, in this world, in this dimension. Alright, so you start GIMP 2.8. With that creepy wolf thing. Yeah, I know. It's really weird. One eye is bigger than the other. Hey, uh, I'm eating paintbrushes. Um, just for people who may be new to GIMP and just want to learn how to do awesome stuff By the way, this is the it, boring part. This is the boring part. All right, it's not too boring. It's quite quick. So let's say you just start off with this. Noob. Yeah, you're just here with a new. It's not even a canvas. Noob. So you have to click on tools, uh, new toolbox, and you'll be given with a set a of really awkward shapes. I know, I know. It's just really long. Who would do that? It's Who just long like? and thin. Long thin. That's what she said. Uh, <laughs> it's just. Uh, Oh my god, I remember on Gary's Motel. Oh, god, no. <laughs> I'm not even going to say it. Alright, um, I, I have one of those. So, because thing. if you've just closed up something that you didn't really want to close, you can bring it back well, by screwed. clicking on that. Yeah. Or, you can... Get a job. Get a new... Job. So, Windows... Dockable dialogues. Wow. Right, um, I'll be going back to that later. Uh, yeah, please. So... Um, you need to start with a new canvas. Start with Can you stop commenting on everything that I say, Sash, please? <laughs> Boring. So, you get a new canvas. It doesn't really need to be a specific size. It can be any size, just don't make it too small, like 12 by 4, which I've done before, and it looks bad. <laughs> Something they can actually get, something they can actually use. I'm using the size of my actual uh, screen. Congratulations. Yeah. So. Why are you 19... looking at me for praise? Like, oh, oh god. I know. Oh my god. He so uses 19... his actual size of his screen. Oh so 1920 god. by 1080 is the size of my screen. Click on this advanced options. And click on fill with transparency. You'll be Talk. using this later. Uh, make sure you do that. Um, do so it. if you that is for if you don't, you're screwed. If you, uh, you don't, you're not screwed. You just don't. You actually you don't need it for the background. Just uh, you don't need it for the background. Just you need it for pretty. for other layers. It doesn't really make a difference because you're going to fill it with block black. All right. Uh, so Ooh. make Sorry. sure that that's uh, that. Big. So I'm going to fill it with junk. black here. Ugh, so, <coughs> fill it back. Woo! Um, and then you have, and then you click on this gradient tool, click on which it. looks like a sort of a shade like thing, a, a gra shady gray thing. It looks like a gradient. So now this is where this thing which I showed it's you. This is the thing that I showed you before, where um, so you have windows. Yeah. Dockable dialogues, tool options. Uh, under these two options, you want to change the shape. This this just if depends on whichever thing you're using, whichever tool you're using, you'll be able to change the options for it. Uh, if you've been wondering how to do that, uh, you need to make the shape 
radial. Radial. Um, don't repeat it, and offset doesn't really matter, dithering doesn't matter. Ugh. Well, dithering, you do want it because it'll make it look smoother, just in case, because my screen can handle 16.7 16 million shades. Show off. Uh, well, most screens these days can. Um, but if your screen has a low color perception, um, you can you ha you turn on this dithering, and it, what it what dithering does, a uh, sort of lesson for the day, it mixes it sort of mixes together. So if you want to make a shade of orange that you can't actually make, but all you can all your screen can do is um, red and yellow. So what it does is it just has a uh, red, yellow, red, pic a red pixel next to a yellow pixel, and it just checkers that, and it will make it look orange. Okay, can can you just stop there while I do my the outro to the lesson of the day, Brendan's way. All right then. Um. Um. So you have sorry. We're making so, progress, people. So you have radial here, and it will use... So, make... Uh, oh, and new people to GIMP. This arrow, you may be wondering what it is, it just changes, it just swaps around these colours. So if you have black there, white there, swap them around, and they swap places. Uh, I'll be using that. Uh, so it, it doesn't matter, it just... Uh, so, here, you choose a colour, it doesn't really matter what color it is, but it changes the sort of feel of it. If you have, if you have this sort of pink color, it'll Boring. give it a bright and sort of, sort of smooth feel. If you have this light, it'll give you a sort of relaxing, relaxing. sort of thing. Soothing. If you have red, then it'll make it Weed. like really deep and cool. Whoa, man. So you'll once you've watched this video, you'll see the importance you'll be a pro. of that. Um, so what you do is go roughly to the middle, it doesn't have to be in the middle, just roughly near the middle. You can do it. And go out to one of the corners and that oh, look just at that. makes... Oh look at that, oh yeah, it looks really bad. That just oh, makes, uh, wait I'll just start, uh, yeah, you done. don't want it to be too near the edge, so... Where is edge? So yeah, that that's good. Oh yeah, look at this, look at this. That's good, make sure it's just coming out from the centre and oh. it's like that. Right. Um, all right. So now you need to make a new dockable dialog. Yeah. And click on layers. Oh, so finally, now I know Oh, and you can. That. This is what you can do. You can put them in. Mm. You pick this up. Mm. You click on that and drag it into here, and it will merge them together. Oh, okay. So click on Thank layers. You. Click on this button, which is create a new layer. Okay. And I'm saying I know people always rage at me saying. Oh, you're you're thinking that I'm a noob and I'm like know nothing about game. This is for people who. How is that accent? What the hell is that? You're thinking like I'm not a noob and I'm like. So you're like you're like saying that Essex people are noobs and like like they're like, like I just want to look attractive and like. So I'm just sitting here in my chair and I'm like oh my god and you're like calling me a noob. And I'm no, like, no 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 oh all god. right all right I'm not I'm not not saying offensive. Like that. Oh, I'm not saying anything like that. Flipping you. offensive. So, just. What was I even talking about? I don't know. I don't <laughs> I'm not really sure at you all. You were just calling people noobs. Oh, uh, I was saying that if you say that this is like. You think that I'm a noob at this. You don't. You think that I don't know what I'm doing. Well, I, I do, but it's this is. It's a tutorial. Is, deal with it. Yeah, You're I'm meant showing. To help I'm you. showing God. these. I'm showing, like, all the, bu well, all the buttons are. Mm. I'm thinking that everyone is new to this everyone who's watching this is new well some people let me just aren't. get this straight if you if you if you're thinking if you're trying to diss us don't watch this because we're just trying to help you yeah and if exactly. you think oh, oh, oh i want to look attractive and uh, i'm not a noob how dare you call me a noob all right um, yeah so get a job. this layer 11 o'clock this layer you want to fill this layer with colors. with white oh. So mm. you can just take, you click on this to st stop viewing a layer. So oh, you can, right. 
edit the layers individually yes. without having to delete them and copy them and oh, cut them. Alright, so you delete this and you paste in oh, some okay. white uh, like that. Yay. You just fill okay. it with white and how I did that was... Oh my god, look, it's blinding. Yep. It's amazing, Brendan. And then uh, this this is where it gets kind of fancy, and this is this is sort of what it gives it the kind of cool okay. effect. This is I the beginning of the. I think we should slow thing. down a bit now, where it yeah, gets yeah, kind yeah. of fancy. And yeah. So you click. You have to click on filters, and here you'll see a list of filters which you can do blur. You can Ooh, enhance yeah. it. You can add light and shadow. Never even seen that. So in my you whole can life. render. Th so you can map things and render things. Today we'll be rendering some clouds. Yay! I and like some, clouds. Some, some different clouds and different clouds. I'm not really sure what they do really. They make a difference. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Right. So really. make sure you have randomize checked and tileable checked. Tileable. Um, have this as four. That as one. Doesn't really matter. That's a million. Um, okay. This looks complicated. Don't worry. We're gonna make it easy for you. We're here to help. When there's trouble, he'll be there. All right then. Here you go, here's your clouds, and oh. now you have to make sure that this layer is, uh, so select this layer, so this select that there. This reminds me of my camera when I like aim at the screen and it's like I'm waiting for it to like render, I'm like, oh! So you click on layer, make sure the layer is selected, click on mode, selected. and make sure, look down and make sure it is on overlay. And oh, that will give bad. it that oh. sort of wavy, Ooh. awesome look. Oh, that looks cool. That yeah. Ugh. Yeah. Just being owned, people. That looks cool, doesn't it? Um, cloudy death. Oh, what was I doing? Pinky um cloudy Yeah, death. it doesn't really matter. I was going to... On the background, I did poop it up a little bit. Um, on the gradient, um, make sure the op opacity is 50 or half. I don't know. Um, it doesn't matter. It won't change it. In Has any it way. been fifteen minutes? Because um, no, I don't want to. I don't want to check because if I check, it'll end the video. No, it'll pause it. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So what was I saying? I just had to jump cut here. Just, uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, we'll probably end it here. Yeah. This is this is the end of part one. We'll try and make them about fifteen minutes. Yeah. And uh, uh, I hope yeah. you enjoyed. Uh, and there's a part two. We are going to record it. Yeah, straight yeah. away, just now. Yeah. And, um, so uh, you'll see it coming up straight after this video is uploaded. I think we'll upload this now. Yeah, and we'll. Then we'll wait till that's uploaded. Then we'll upload the second part. And um, you know what we could do while the first one's uploading? We, yeah. sh we could make a thumbnail. We could. We could. Um, so we could. We could make a thumbnail using this. That'd be cool. And we then could, you could yeah, put uh, yeah. some text just saying like. Uh, Gimp, yeah. um, Gimp tutorial. All right. So, uh, this has everyone. been this has been part one of the Gimp tutorial. How to make this really cool background or what, whatever you really want. We hope this helps so far. Uh, Give it a like if it's very appreciated or whatever that means. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's All right. very appreciated. Yes. All right. Have a nice day. Goodbye.